Port-au-Prince, capital city of Haiti. The majority of Haiti's population lives in the greater Port-au-Prince area. Its open-air market provides the country with food, clothing, and basic needs for everyday life. Haiti offers no free public school system. Families work hard and scrape by to afford such an opportunity for their children. Their poverty is great. their resourcefulness and ingenuity greater. As many as half of the children in this orphanage do not know their own age. They do not know their birthday. Yeah. And all they do is just pump this. Oh, okay. And that's, they, they'll fill buckets and take them over there and get a bucket bath. To hand wash laundry, water is hauled in buckets and heated on a fire. The 54 children living in this orphanage will receive an education. They will have a school uniform, play clothes, and an outfit for church. Unlike many of their peers, they receive three hot meals every day. This is made possible by the Lutheran Church of Haiti. Hundreds of people attend the outside crusades. They learn about a God who loves them. A God who has already paid the price. A God who brings light. These high energy services can last for hours. Celebration continues long after the missionaries drive away, headed to the guest house. Biblical teaching is offered after every crusade. Bible study begins and ends with praise. Believers learn their identity is in Christ. Missionaries overcome obstacles and traverse rough roads to deliver the gospel to the nations. The earthly reward is to worship in remote villages with indigenous people and share in their customs. This house of God is constructed of woven grass. It's adorned with colorful curtains and flowers. This city church is constructed of sheet metal and tarps. Its 80-member congregation is excited about the construction of their new building. In 1989, Pastor Bob Evans of Tennessee and Pastor Jean-Claude Sylvan of Haiti co-founded Love One Another Embassy. Pastor Evans ministered to over 12,000 people at the 1990 Haitian National Day of Prayer. Today, the embassy serves as a training center for pastors and offers ministry and rest to visiting missionaries. Praise the Lord, Brother Bob, this is Pastor Jean-Claude. We want to tell you we love you and we miss you so very much. And our prayers 
always be with you night and day. We are praying for you. And we are hoping that the Lord will make a way for you to come back here in Haiti to see your family, your work that you start. I want to tell you the work you start here in Haiti is growing. It's growing day by day. Building material is scarce. Tools are manual. Design is functional. And labor backbreaking. A veteran cook checks the temperature of the stove. Rice and beans for over 60 orphans, a handful of teachers, and a few hungry construction workers. Rotation of hot coals keeps the food at the desired temperature. The Lord keep adding the saints at the church in every service. And we thank God and so surely the Lord will really bless us. Oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. So we want to tell you, we, we really appreciate you, we love you, we thank you so much, so much for everything you have done and everything you are doing. 99% unemployment does not hinder church members as they worship in spirit and in truth. Young men circle with locked arms. Dancing before the Lord is a privilege. No one is too old or too feeble. If assistance is required, an usher will gladly support you. Hallelujah. We need you. We need you. Your prayers are understanding. Your work is still there. Hallelujah. Water used for cooking is collected from the underground cistern. Gravity-fed showers, heated only by the sun, provide little water pressure. Yet it's adequate to fill the bucket used to flush the toilet. A two-and-a-half-hour trip high atop a mountain reveals the village of Fon Blanc. The people of this remote village express appreciation to Pastor Sylvan for providing a church, a school, and an orphanage for their citizens. We start our church way back here and under a little coconut trees. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Brother Bob will be glad to see this. <laughs> Every Monday night at Love One Another Embassy, family gathers for prayer and praise. Visitors are encouraged to participate. The experience was life-changing for this missionary.